Hey, I'm JD Hagen with Oxide Climbing. Today we're going to talk about uh, dyes and resins. We're going to test a couple of dyes versus a couple of resins, and we're going to see what the changes are, if there are any, and uh, just give you a kind of idea of which resin, which dye you're going to go forward with, with that color in mind as you guys get into casting holds and you're getting away from just that basic off-white color, and you're kind of wanting to get some different colors going on. Um, so <clears throat> I've got a uh, smooth cast, so strong die, so strong die, uh, fire that guy, whoever came up with that name. And then I've got Lumalite's no name die, which no name is better than so strong in my opinion. Uh, and then I've got smooth cast 320 resin here and I've got a Lumalite RC3. So uh, disclaimer notice right off the bat, I have no relationship with smooth cast. I do have a relationship with Lumalite. Uh, they reached out in the last week or so and said, hey man, we really appreciate the videos you're making, you're doing a great job, here's a 10% discount that you can, and a code that you can just hand out to the people that are watching your, watching your stuff, your tutorials, uh, following you on Instagram, all that good stuff. So if you haven't already seen it, uh, the code is JDCLIMB10, so J-D-C-L-I-M-B-1-0. Use it at the checkout at Lumalite.com on any product they have in the, in the website and you get that 10% off. So uh, thanks to Lumalite for doing that. Um, you know, they didn't come out and say, yeah, you can't use Smoothcast products anymore. You know, you can't use those in your videos. They just said, man, we really appreciate the tutorials you're putting out. Keep it up and uh, here's a discount. So uh, you guys get to, to hop in on that too, which is legit. So uh, Lumalite, you know, if that product's gonna work better for you than what Smoothcast will, uh, or it's, avail it's better available for you, you, go check them out, go to the website and use that code. So. That said, I'm still gonna give you unbiased uh, reviews as much as I can. Um, and I, since I want the best product on the wall, if possible, then, then I'm gonna give you the best product, in my opinion, uh, as far as home casting. So uh, that's, that's the disclaimer, we'll hop into the review. So again, I've got Smoothcast die, and I've got a Lumilite die, Smoothcast 320, and a Lumilite RC3. It starts getting confusing hanging on to it. So, we'll, uh, we go with our dyes. So when I first started getting the colors, I had RC3 for a long time and Lumilite dye strictly because all that's available locally to me at Hobby Lobby. Uh, when I switched over to Smoothcast 320, trying to find a solution to the moisture problems I was having, which didn't turn out to be a Lumilite related, it just turned out to be moisture problems, I noticed right away that my dyes were way off. Uh, we have a video that's, that's last year sometime that goes through adding dye to your resin and how, you know, doing it in a step up manners, trying to figure out what the color match is, and et cetera. That video's back there, we'll probably link it in here, actually. Um, this is not a step-by-step -step process on how to dye your holds. This is just a review. Um, but that's a great video if you wanna go watch that and figure out how to actually use your dyes. The, the difference, though, is that that color dropped when I changed over Smooth Cast 20 and I couldn't figure out why. I had all these kind of recipes, and I knew what amounts to squirt into different sized resins, and then all that changed with Smooth Cast 20 So I ordered Smooth Cast dye specifically to run it with their products to see if it changed. It didn't. So if you see here, here's RC3 uh, Alumilite products, and here's RC3 right here with Alumilite dye. This is Smooth Cast 320 with Smooth Cast Smooth On dye. All right, you can still see that that color is pretty lost. All right, now everything you see here is 50 milliliters of resin. It's the same amount across the board with the same level of dye. 50 milliliters of resin, a half milliliter of dye. And you see that it's washed out. It's, it's a brighter pink, kind of, but since I was going for a red, the Illumilite's closer to that red than it is than it is in the uh, uh, Smooth Cast 320. Um, I, I ordered red dye in both cases. I've got a Lumilite red dye and uh, So Strong red dye. It's not like I've ordered one pink and one red. They're both red. But you can see that color is still different. Now, if you hop over to Smooth Cast 320 and look at the Lumilite dye in that resin, it's the same. It's that same kind of bright pink, all right? So the dye had no effect on the resin. It's all in the resin. Here's RC3 with Smooth Cast 3. Uh, the smooth cast so strong dye and it's very similar it's kind of that it's that red you know that valentine's red uh and just if i mix these holds together at some point i'll never get them apart i'll never know which ones were which so i've been real careful to keep them apart but you see there's almost no no color change and, you know i'll pull up some video, some pictures here as i'm going so you can see it up close instead of trying to like squint on the bottom of the video uh 
very little change, if any at all, using a different dye in the same resin, all right? The only change is you see back here where it kind of washed out. So this is Smooth Cast 320 with the So Strong dye, but with filler added, all right? So still using 50 milliliters of resin, but now I have 25 milliliters of, of uh, filler in here. And you can see that it's kind of desaturated. It's kind of washed out a little bit. Um, it's lost that bright pink and it's just, just desaturated, kind of grayed out. The same thing over here at RC3, uh, use a little bit of filler. I did use the same Smooth Cast uh, So Strong dye just because there was no difference. So I didn't make any sense to cast another two holds uh, and have the exact same two holds in the same color uh, when they don't make any change. So smooth cast dye with RC3, but with RC3 uh, amounts of filler in it. Not quite 25 milliliters of, red, of filler, it's like I think I did 18. Because um, Illumilite RC3 just doesn't like the full amounts of filler that smooth cast can take. Um, and did the same thing, kind of washed it out, but you can see that deeper red, right? Still kind of graded out, kind of desaturated it, so you'd have to add more dye to overcome that if possible. And you should be able to. You should get a, be able to richer gray or richer red by adding more dye. Just something to take into account when you're using filler and your dyes. So, as far as the dye differences, there is none. All right, it's the same, same amounts of dye, same amounts of resin, and it changed nothing. All right. So if you're looking at a dye, about which one's gonna be more quality, there, I don't see one right now. Uh, maybe in some very high amounts you might see a difference, but I'm not seeing it here at all. So don't, don't go looking at the best dye and say, man, what's the, what's, the, what's the best dye? What's gonna color the best? Doesn't matter, they're the same as far as these two products. What's different is the resin. So again, if I were gonna try and match that Smooth Cat 320 to the Lumilite, I'd probably double my, my uh, dye amounts and go up to like a full, I think a full milliliter uh, for 50, which is for 50 milliliters, which is kind of getting up there. So you're, if you're doing 100 milliliters, you're putting two milliliters of, of uh, dye in there, you know. Um, it does say on a bottle that one milliliter will color 454 uh, milliliters of resin. It will. It'll color it a very, 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 very washed out pink. I've got one on the wall, maybe up too high. I'll put it in, over my shoulder here. Very, very, very washed out pink. So yeah, the bottle is not lying. It does color it. Does it color anything you want? So, what's the better dye then? Well, it comes down to price. So they both come in dropper bottles, but the Illumilite comes in a one ounce bottle, and the Smooth Cast uh, So Strong comes in a two ounce bottle. The Illumilite bottle is five seventy five to six bucks for a one ounce bottle. For a two ounce bottle, for double the size bottle, it's Fourteen seventy-five minimum up to like 15 something depending on the diet you get. So it's more than double the cost. It's almost three times the cost for a two ounce bottle compared to six bucks for a one ounce bottle. Uh, that math is a little bit harder if you have access to these dyes locally because you can just walk into Hobby Lobby, use a 40% off discount and buy that dye for three and a half bucks. All right, so in my opinion, the availability in the States, I don't know about you guys in Europe uh, or even Canada, but the availability of Illumilite dyes in the States and the cheaper price makes it the better dye. Even though it doesn't work any better or worse than the Smooth Cast dye, just because it's available. You know, I have so many Illumilite dyes because I can just walk into the store and pick them up that it doesn't make sense for me to switch from them to Smooth Cast dyes uh, unless the Smooth Cast dyes work better with the Smooth Cast resin, and they don't. So go with the cheaper option, in my opinion. Go with the Illumilite, which is a couple bucks cheaper. It is a smaller bottle, but you're, if you were to buy two ounces, you'd be spending 12 instead of 14 or $15. Uh, that's the only reason, and two or three dollars may not be enough. So if you're already getting free shipping from Smooth On for something, then just get the dye. But it doesn't make a difference in the resin, and it doesn't really make a difference in the filler either, as far as one being better than the other. Um, the only thing I really don't like about these dyes is I hate the dropper bottles. You can't get an accurate measurement out of dropper bottles, ever. So I've cut the nipple off of the Illumilite one, and I just stick the, the Tylenol syringe in the end of it, flip it up, pull out the amount I want, and squirt it in the resin. Uh, with the, the So Strong, I actually found a, a smaller syringe that just drops down into the neck of the thing, and that's worked out great. Um, I'm not going to show you any of that, because if I spill this stuff, it will never, ever come out. Resin dye is gonna be here after the cockroaches. That stuff never dries. So, 
Those are the dyes. Those are the resins. Um, alum at the end of the day, Alumilash is cheaper. This is how they work in the resins. There's not enough of a difference to be worried about uh, one over the other. Um, but be aware that if you're using SmoothCast 320, you're going to have a different color than what your recipe with Alumilash was and vice versa. All right? So just be aware of that going forward. Um, you will use less Alumilash dye with RC3. But again, a lot of that comes down to availability and price. So whatever works best for you, that's the direction to go. But don't change your game plan over the dye quality because there's no difference. So uh, that's all I've got for today. It's kind of a quick video, I hope. I'll have to look at the time later. Uh, but yeah, those are the dyes. And I got some cool stuff coming in. I've, uh, I'm gonna do a review on a new Illumilite dye, a resin I got a hold of uh, called ADD. And uh, we'll see how that turns out. I'm hoping it's harder than the RC3 stuff and has a little bit longer lifespan on the wall. Um, but we'll, we'll find out. So that's coming. And uh, man, if you guys got any ideas or questions, what you're looking for, reach out to me and let me know and maybe I can do something about it. Um, <clears throat> if you're not following me on Instagram already, at JD Hagler, J-D-H-A-I-G-L-E-R, um, you can come catch me there and see some of the stuff I'm working on. And come check us out on Facebook. We've got a group on there with another guy named Eric Larry Quinte. I think that's right, Larry Quinte. That uh, we started about a month ago and we're up to 4,500 members. And it's just people making holes. Man, they made out of wood, cast them out of resin, some other stuff that's happening. Uh, but it's a cool group and there's a lot of knowledge to be had there. And so if you're making holds, come join us and, and check it out. And people will answer questions. I will probably answer questions. And uh, man, we'll have to make your holes in no time. So come check us out. Stay safe out there, guys. It's starting to level out. Things are getting better. Gyms are opening. So yeah, stay safe. We're almost through this. Thanks for watching, guys.